All right, guys, today we're going to do Justice League or Justice League. I'm so confused. Hey, everybody, welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where we talk movies, music, TV shows. Got a really good one for you. Um, this one is a bit different. We're doing Zack Snyder's Justice League. This is the four hour cut from the original director. Now that's not to be confused with Justice League, which came out in 2017. What we're gonna do, we're mainly talking about this one, but we're gonna focus on some of the similarities and differences with this one and kind of dissect it and uh, I'm going to tell you which one I think is the best and which one should be the definitive one. You probably already know if you know me, but we'll go through it anyway. Let's get started. All right, we are talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League, the version that came out in 2021, not the 2017 version, which was started by Snyder, but after an unceremonious ending with Warner Brothers, they replaced him with Joss Whedon. Now, this version is often referred to as the Snyder Cut, and it's pieced together from his original vision of things that he shot in 2017, and then reshoots that came around in 2021. He did not use any of the shots that Joss Whedon did for his version. And this film is part of the often referred to Snyderverse, which would be Man of Steel and Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. So you can already see how this one has several advantages. All right, so this movie stars Ben Affleck as Batman, Henry Cavill as Superman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and Ezra Miller as The Flash. A lot of people did not care for the 2017 version. They wanted something that was more faithful to what Snyder's vision was. They and members of the cast and crew nicknamed the Snyder Cut. Warner Brothers decided to go ahead and give him the opportunity in February 2020. In May, Snyder announced that the original cut would be released as Zack Snyder's Justice League via the streaming service HBO Max. It did cost around 70 million to complete the visual effects, score, and editing with the new material that was filmed in October of 2020. Basic premise was the same as the 2017 cut with Steppenwolf, looking for the mother boxes in order to take over the planet for his master dark side differences primarily were we got to see more of dark side and intricacies in the plot were changed now i won't go into most of it because i don't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it if you're one of those four people that haven't seen it i can tell you this it is longer it is in parts but it's better it is so much better than the original movie because it has been expanded it actually gives each character room to grow and breathe and you understand the motivations a lot more things make a lot more sense things are a lot better especially when dealing with cyborg and his character he was more or less treated as an afterthought in the 2017 version, but he gets completely fleshed out in the new version. The way Superman is resurrected in this version is a lot different as well. Again, without going into the plot and spoiling anything, I will say this, not only does it make more sense, it helps with the cohesion of the movie. Batman is less of a wise-cracking cartoon character in this one, and he's more faithful to the Dark Knight 
that we got to see in Dawn of Justice. Again, it is longer, but it's much better. In addition to being available on HBO Max, it is also available on Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K with special features and digital copy. Not gonna lie, for the 2017 one, I did opt for the Blu-ray DVD and for the Snyder Cut, I got the 4K edition with the Blu-ray set. And I did that because going into it from everything I had heard, I already knew that overwhelmingly other people decided that the original cut was not as good as the Snyder Cut. Overall, I would give the scores. 2017 cut would be 2.5 and the 2021 cut would be a 3.5. If you haven't already, make sure you pick up a copy. Now understand that Snyder is the originator. So when I say original cut, even though I'm referring to Joss Whedon's version, Zack Snyder had shot most of this movie himself before departing. And when he came back to do reshoots and add-ons for his definitive cut, that's the reason why I call the 2017 one the original this one I'm gonna call the definitive cut though okay so that's it that's Justice League and the Snyder cut I highly highly recommend it keep in mind though just like most movies it does have its flaws it clocks in at four hours and because of that you have to be able to devote some time if you're not one of those people that can uh, do a little bit here and a little bit there. You want to go through the entire movie, be ready to spend half a work day watching this movie. Is it better than the 2017 cut? Absolutely by far. It's more cohesive when you put it next to Man of Steel or Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. This makes the entire trilogy make more sense. And although we can hope that we'll get a sequel and see where he was going to take it based on the uh, last few scenes in the movie. Because of the rift with Warner Brothers and the way they've done their movies uh, as of late, it's going to be highly unlikely. And that's a shame. All right, that's all the time I've got for today. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate everybody who watches and uh, leaves comments. It's going to help me grow and get better. And if you have anything that you want me to uh, review, whether it be a movie, TV show, or any kind of music, let me know. I'm always glad to explore new things. Thank you guys so much. Stay positive, stay blessed, and I'll see you soon.